Welcome my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Welcome to Ed Lead Scallon's workshop. This is a continuation from my last two videos. Um, let's go uh, inside on my over here. Let me show you what I got going on. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys three quarters of this. And only because I think I got a patent here. What I have is a 12 volt battery. I got a transistor. I got the Tesla coil disconnected. Okay. Um, what I did was decide to replace the coil, replace the primary, and bring it out there. Okay. And uh, over here, what I have is out there to that grounding rod. It's in the ground. It comes up and goes to this side and then this side here comes in to the transistor and it goes out the base okay now what over here that I drew up a long time ago to understand what a transistor is um, here on the base is your signal input remember that guys over here on the collector is the resistor input and then over here on the emitter is the resistor output so over here, we pretty much got uh, one side of the rail is uh, positive, one side's negative. You got uh, a tip 31 transistor here. One part of it goes to ground. One part of it comes out of the collector, which is the resistor's input. It runs out and it goes to the primary out there. And then the other end of my primary comes into the positive rail over here. Now let's go back over here because I want you to understand one thing. One side screw here is going to the grounding rod. But back yesterday we talked, well, briefly about the iron up top, about it being a great uh, energy absorption. Now remember that, I'm going to show you that the black wire that comes off that iron comes over here and goes over to this side now basically this right here is my spark gap so in between the ground and my collector up top there is this is a radiant spark gap so what's happened is in between here i'm getting a radiant energy i'm not getting sparks running across but i am getting a radiant energy and i'm going to show you what happens when you get radiant energy this is going to blow you guys mind okay so over here we're going to come over here we are going to turn on the voltmeter bada bing we're going to put it on dc now i got one end of the voltmeter guys just uh inside the uh out part of the primary okay and look at the voltmeter I'm going to go ahead and touch this plant. Watch when I touch the plant. Okay. You start seeing a lot of stuff going on. See that voltmeter? Now watch when I stick it in the ground. You got 11.62 volts, guys, coming out of the ground. Okay. Now, let's undo this. Look at the voltmeter drop. Okay. Now, this is going to blow your mind, guys. I got electric motor sitting here. Now, let's go ahead and take one end. Where's that other end? I don't see it. It's laying around. There it is. Let's take it, and we're going to stick it to the ground pipe. Okay? You see me? Right to the ground pipe. There it goes. Running the motor. Motor's running, guys. Now, remember what's going on here. I'm using the primary wrapped around a ground pipe the only reason this pipe is here is a plastic pvc it's holding up this iron which is my energy collector okay so that energy collector is feeding off of this oscillation that's going on in my primary so my primary is building up and collapsing building up and collapsing but when it's building up it's going in this copper rod here that I have sticking in the ground so not only is it going up and, and collapsing but it's going down in the ground 
and you can see my voltmeter is working off of my oscillation. Now I'm going to take this and just I'm going to show you something even cooler. Look, here's a piece of just a piece of galvanized metal. You stick it over here. Now I'm going to put it over here so you can see both. Now watch the voltmeter. You see it bouncing, right? And you see this. I'm going to touch it. Look at the voltmeter. Voltmeter is going nuts, guys. Now what happens? I watch when I stick this metal on the ground and I touch it. Going from millivolts to volts. Can I get a good connection there? I'm going to come back over here. This is really good, guys. This is monumental. I want to show you something. So basically, just on the output of this primary, and just on that output, I'm going to show you. I've got to get a good connection. You see the electric motor running. You see the voltmeter. I'm going to go next to Happy Plant. And look at the volts. That's volts. 11.71 volts coming out of the ground. I'm going to show you something even more unbelievable. Watch the voltmeter. Watch my finger. 10.32 volts. See my finger, guys? 10 volts. Stick it in the ground. Watch this. 11.75 volts watch this piece of metal over here i'm gonna just touch it in the corner i'm getting 10.63 volts just off the metal what's happening is all metal will collect okay not as good as iron iron is the best collection out there and if you do any research and learn about the sun you'll understand that the end of the sun's life, it starts to basically eat itself apart. But what happens in that process, in the center of the sun, instead of it being an engine where it's blowing outward the energy, it starts formulating iron inside. And the whole sun becomes filled with iron. And what happens is, when iron gets in the middle of the sun, it starts to collect all that energy that the sun's making. So all that energy is going into that iron. So it goes to show you that iron, as simple as it may be, it is the reason, you know, that the sun dies. It, 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 it's the kryptonite. And that goes to show you that in, in a um, subatomic level, iron, has so much energy in it, so much, so much. I'm not even gonna go into it. You guys gotta do your own research. This is all about doing research. We got 11.43 volts. I got this in the air and I'm just getting millivolts, okay? You see the voltmeter, millivolts, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and touch this hammer. I got 11.70 volts, touching the hammer, let go. I got this piece of galvanized metal. Bam. Another cool thing. Piece of aluminum. Okay. Aluminum, guys. Let's stick the, get the hammer out of the way. Piece of aluminum. Now, aluminum is a conductor. Not so much a retainer like, like iron or any other metal. So, I'm going to look at the voltmeter. I'm going to touch the aluminum. And now, you see I got... 11 volts coming out of the aluminum so it, what's happening is that the ground is not so much just a ground the ground has positive and negative energy in the ground everybody just thinks that the ground motor still running that the ground is a negative well that's not true guys because when you learn more about electric and and current um, we had it all wrong for the longest time, and we still do. And all of our principles, when we do our math, even though everything still works, that um, 
positive doesn't chase the negative. Negative chases positive. And if you look into the system I have up top with the transistor, that transistor is not touching any positive energy. It's only got negative going into it. So the negative is chasing the positive energy, which is in the ground. Look at the voltmeter. Now I can't give you all. There's a couple other things going on here and I just kind of went around it. But basically, this is going to be a patent. I see this. This is energy that's being used 12 volts, okay? 12 volts going into a transistor, which is putting out like 5 volts. And when you come back here, it takes a lot of amps to run this motor. We all know that. Like yesterday on my video, I was putting out 1,100 volts. But once I... Once I went in and did my my uh, test on my coil, it was only like like three tenths of an amp, and that won't run anything, guys. So it is amazing that this is happening. Look at Mr. Plant. Look at me. I'm just touching the plant. Look at this. Just touching plant, look, Mr. Happy Plant. He's got a lot of energy in him. I will give you one little secret, okay? I'm just gonna put this out there because I love the work that you guys are doing, Deeds. Uh, Woodroff, Ryan from, uh, from, um, oh geez, I know your first name now, and Abraham's Lab. I love the work you're doing. What I wanna see is you guys get the hell out of your workshop and start using more ground. And not ground for ground, but ground for positive energy. Um, one thing I'm gonna just give you a little hint on, okay guys? Motor's still running. Still running, I know you hear it. One thing, that, look at that, that's ground, baby. I'm gonna leave you guys on a good note, and it's something that came to me one day. You're probably gonna think I'm nuts, but I'm gonna get this back on, because I like hearing that thing on. It came to me one day when I was on my vacation. I was out staring at the sun. And I realized that when you look up at a star, it takes many light years for stars um, shine to enter where we at, okay? And when you look up at the stars, you're sending out a signal. And you see that star and it actually sees you back. And that's how that reflection thing works. And it dawned on me that the sun is putting out a positive energy, no negative. The only negatives out there is things that are matter. So rocks, organic, inorganic material, basically. So what happens is the energy coming off the sun hits an organic or inorganic material, gets reflected back. And that's the thing with the sun. It wants the information back. Same thing with us. We're grounded. We're walking on this planet Earth. It wants that information. So when we send the information back, that's completing the loop from the sun outward and coming back to the sun. It's just one big giant loop. One thing I wanted you guys to know is get out of your workshop. Start using more ground. You gotta understand that the positive energy that's coming from the sun gets into the ground, gets caught up in our atmosphere, gets sent back out. So this, what we're looking at here is the energy coming back outward. What I'm doing here is oscillating a primary around the grounding copper rod in the ground. You guys know when you work with those uh, Slayer circuits, Unless you're putting 20, 30, 40, 50 volts in them to get all that forcing like a hose out of it, 
Um, it, it,